Okay, let's download and install Flash Media Development Server and stream some video to a media player running in Flash, to an iPad running iOS, and also to HTML code in Safari on macOS. This is the Flash Media Server product page on adobe.com. Scroll down under Tools and Resources. Here's the Development Server download link. Click on that and you're just going to enter your Adobe ID and password and download the installer. Let's get to the Firefox. Here's the installer. I'm installing it on Windows. It's also available on Linux. Accept the license agreement. You don't need to enter a serial number to install the development server. The default installation location is Program Files Adobe. You do need to install the Apache HTTP server. This is a web server that lets you serve content over HTTP like any web server, but it also has customized modules that enable true HTTP streaming. Enter any um, username and password for the Flash Media Administration Console. We won't use it in this tutorial, but it allows you to administer and see information about the applications running on the server. You can accept the default ports. These are the ports over which clients connect to the server. And we'll just let it install. Leave all these selected to start the server and start the start screen. This is the Flash Media Server start screen. It uses the Strobe Media Playback media player, which is built on OSMF, the open source media framework. So here's media playing in Flash over RTMP. Here's an example of the same media playing in Flash over HTTP. And then we can go over to Safari on Mac OS and see that same media playing over HTTP to HTML. So let me back up a second here and show you how to find the address of Flash Media Server so that you can open the start screen on other devices on your local network like your iPad or in Safari. Open the command prompt in Windows and just enter ipconfig. So this value right here, 10.0.1.16 for me, that's the value that you're going to enter into the address bar. This is the start screen loaded into the iPad. We'll see the same sample content. So there we see content streaming from Flash Media Server to iOS, macOS, and a media player running in Flash.